Woo, man, that was crazy. Super dusty back there. It's like being back at Burning Man again. Just taste the dust. Anyway, I'm gonna go take a shower. The original shower, the river shower. Uh, we're gonna go up to Little Sioux. All right. Here we go, uh, Little Sioux River, uh, putting in in uh, the old Gold Mint parking lot in Hatcher's Pass, and we got four miles of white water. So let's do it. So we're uh, maybe about halfway down Little Sioux, it's where the rapids start picking up a little bit. We got this drop down here. Maybe like six, seven foot ledge. And uh, I just got ahead of those guys. I'm gonna get some drone footage. Yeah, it's a lot of work filming, but it's kind of fun. And uh, I don't know, always look back at it and say, yeah, I'm glad I did that. So. I literally forgot to get you to take you with me.
amor. successful run of the little Sioux had a couple swims but everyone kept it together for the most part Luke's uh Luke's getting the car ready he's gonna take us all up here he comes Steve and I are gonna go camping at the takeout of the Kings River tomorrow at 9 a.m. I'm gonna meet a couple of kayaking buddies at the Kings River takeout and we're gonna go paddle one of the most epic whitewater runs in Alaska it's uh it's pretty cool it involves a four-wheeler and a kayak and good friends So hang tight, we'll be at camp soon. So I've been super impressed with how this camper rides in this truck. This thing is so much more stable than my Toyota camper I had before it. Um, any kind of crosswind or all these dips and bumps you hit, this truck just eats them. It's been awesome. And when I hit the bumps or hit the dips, I don't see the, the truck doesn't get a crazy bounce and start bouncing out of control. And I don't see the camper get jarred really hard. So this thing's got a smooth ride. I'm stoked on it. Turned out uh, much better than I thought, ride quality wise. Overland setup. <laughs> Ready to go anywhere. Get on there, baby. Yep. Extra cozy. Water jug. It's got a freaking box full of cast irons, pans. Man is ready. True camping. Good morning, y'all. Here we go. Going to uh Get some coffee going. I know that's gross, but that's my sink. I just realized it probably looks like I never cook. And that's because I don't sometimes. It makes it a lot more difficult to do everything with one hand and then film with the other, but you know what? It makes it more fun to watch probably, so. kids this morning we're going up the Kings River I haven't been up here in probably I guess three or four years it's a pretty fun class 5 stretch probably one of the best rivers in Alaska actually the only catch is you get a four-wheel 15 miles up to it and the other catch is you have to get three kayakers and a driver on the four-wheeler Suckered old Steve Owen to driving. <laughs>
And how many times is that with the straps? And who needs WD-40 for smooth strap operation when you got mud? So here we are, folks, uh, at the put-in for Kings River Magic Mile. Um, West Fork of the Kings is up there, which you can also run, but it's kind of a lot of effort. Good snow machining back in there. East Fork's there. That took us maybe three hours. Uh, the radiator, there, I think there's a hole in it or something. We had to keep stopping, so. Washing them kayaks off. Washing traps off. A little bit muddy, check out that paddle. All right, here we go, 15 miles down the river. Probably get out at that first one, it's probably gonna be, it's always wood. Yeah, buddy. Thanks, man. Yep. See you down there. That's why it's important to scout the river. Scout them rapids.
Man, I am beat. Successful run. Just trip Frank and I finished it off. Uh, Steve was awesome. Thanks for four wheeling, man. Riding that wheeler out, that was huge help. All right, thank you guys for watching. And uh, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe so you can stay tuned for more videos. And we'll see you on the next adventure. Peace, y'all. Oh,